Good morning and welcome. I have a very special guest today, Pauline Truman. And Pauline has been trialling the uh, brand new TRME 15-day system. And I'm going to actually pick Pauline's brains today because I want to know how this works, what are the benefits, and what makes this so different. So thank you, Pauline, for taking the time to speak with me today. First of all, could you please tell people a little bit about you and a little bit about sort of the things that you've been going through health-wise over the last uh, few years? Okay, absolutely. Thanks for having me on today. Um, So I am a 58-year-old, nearly through menopause, (laughs) um, woman, and I used to always be a 52, 54-kilo girl, but at about the age of 48-ish, around about there, I was going through a lot of stress, really intense stress with my marriage, and um, I, my, I started to go through a lot of health issues then. So I had to have a hysterectomy. Uh, my thyroid function really began to fail, so it's underactive, and I started to balloon in weight. And over the next few years, I put on around about 25 kilos, and it was just horrendous because I've never been big. I've never had a tummy. Um, and I've always had, I'm a pear shape, so I've always had, you know, chunky thighs and a big bum, but I've never had anything from, you know, the well, belly up. So this was horrendous. I found it hard to get up off the floor. I found it hard to bend over. I found it, I found everything hard. Um, I I um, hated it and <laughs> hated it. And I have tried so many things over the years I started dieting almost immediately I think I yo-yo dieted on lots of things actually I tried everything and some things would work a little bit but then I would stop and I would put more weight back on and every year I was getting heavier and I was way past the heaviest I'd ever been pregnant and this it just horrified me and I hated looking in the mirror I hated jumping on the scales um, so yeah, been it's been very I've been very disillusioned and this had to almost get to the point where I accepted that this was me. But I'd always been so active. Last I was really active um, in my younger days. I used to run a lot. I was a, a competitive athlete in a cross country, and I always have exercised so my whole life because I love it. But I was finding even that was hard work, and I was struggling with everything that I did because I just felt so big and I felt so embarrassed at how big I was. <laughs> so do you think all the way during this time you would consider yourself having a fairly healthy diet? Yeah, absolutely. I I, I absolutely have always looked at what I'm eating and um, I've, I've tried different styles of eating to, as well. So um, I have done the protein and veggie approach but I felt with no carbs and that, that was good I lost weight with it but the stress that was on my life at the time I put it back on um I've done the keto diet quite extensively but I ended up feeling so sick on it I couldn't keep going I did lose a bit of weight with that but once again I put it back on and more um I have done calorie counting I've done you know, I've done every, I've done all the different types of things that you can do. I've done juice fasting, and I've done. Oh my god! I just think I've done. You sound like all of us. You know, <laughs> who's tried everything over the years. Yeah. Um, and it's not for wanted because you can kind of just Google anything to learn how to eat well and lose weight. You see, you see like things or documentaries, or you see things on Facebook, and you think, okay, I'll give that one a go. And and <laughs> I, I, I'm really quite consistent. I'm very quite disciplined, so I do follow things properly. And um, but just in the last little while, I've just been drinking beer and eating chocolate. <laughs> so I'm so depressed about it. <laughs> That's what, not for long. Just the last few months. Yeah. What role do you think stress played in in this for you in in oh, the, your weight gain? I I put it all down to stress actually, mm. and mm. menopause. Menopause was another thing completely. Once that hit, it was like, what the heck. Um, stress definitely started the ball rolling with disintegration of my healthy body and um, and ballooning. I just started to get, I just didn't fit any clothes. Yeah. And just, I had to keep buying bigger clothes. And I've, I've chucked out all my skinny clothes and I'm going to go back there now. So, <laughs> damn, I can buy them again. What a shame. That's okay. Um, 
So you started taking the Tea Army program a um, couple of weeks ago. Yes, I was. I was really fortunate. I actually rang Niskin and I said, you know, it's great us having all these photos, these amazing Asian photos, but we need a chubby Australian to do it. <laughs> so a menopausal, menopausal, Ch- yeah, ch- chubby Australian, because um, without that, we don't know that it's going to work for. Bodies. Our bodies yeah. are different than the Asian bodies. Yeah. And they've had amazing results. And I just think, wow, look at that. But I also in my head think, yeah, but yeah, that's not going to work for me. So um, so they they said, okay. And so I've got a trial and so excited about it, so terrified. What's well, that doesn't work? And the whole world is watching me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I started and um I just wasn't really hard to change my diet. I did stop drinking any alcohol. Which wasn't hasn't even been hard. I haven't even missed it, mm-hmm. um, and I just have eaten quite very clean. And I've really followed along with all the principles you've taught me about protein and um, and the type of vegetables to eat, and then ha- making sure that my snacks were also based in either a protein or a a simple like the the very thin rice cakes with avocado and egg or something like that on it. A bit of bit of ch- cooked chicken in the fridge, you know, like a few ideas like that have been great. Um, sometimes I would have like three walnuts, and that would satisfy me. So this the eating hasn't been hard, and this is the first program I've done where I didn't feel deprived, and I didn't feel starving, and I didn't feel craving, um, and I didn't feel like this mad panic in my head about when am I going to going to be allowed to eat and. Can I last that long? <laughs> so I have just been so calm. It's just been so lovely. It's been easy. So when you talk about snacking, for instance, were there certain times of the day that would be worse for you? Like I need to have something now. I need to snack. Yeah. Or are you just sort of a general all-round snack? No, no. I'm definitely like that four o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. Um, always get hungry then. Um, always have. And so that was the time that I would go, okay, um, what should I do about mm. this? Mm. Should I can I wait for dinner? And which is only another hour or so away? Or shall I um just have a boiled egg or you know, something like that? And I think that's the difference here, Sally, is that I have had headspace. And I keep saying this, and it might not make sense to you until you've experienced it, but I had headspace to think about it. Mm. I would come home from being out all day and I think I was talking to you one day, I hadn't actually eaten. Um because I just hadn't had a chance. And I got home at four o'clock and normally I would be shaking, like I get the high, hypoglycemic shakes mm-hmm. and I just have to have something now, otherwise I feel like I'll collapse. I have never, I haven't had that on this. I got home and I thought, okay, well, maybe I'll just have a boiled egg or maybe I'll have a, my shake now or, you know, something. So it was, um, it's been so different in the way that my body has been about food. And a few people have asked me, they I don't, or I said, I don't think I can go on a strict diet. I'm like, well, I actually was on a quite a strict diet, actually, but I didn't even notice it. It didn't impact me like it used to. It was, yeah, I did get a little bit hungry here and there, but I didn't get that ravenous mm. craving, need to eat, mm. can't control it. And that's what I love. Let's talk about your results because they were different from what you were expecting. I know. And I did panic a little bit when the scales weren't going down because I, have in the past been a scales girl and jump on the scales quite regularly. And so when it wasn't dropping very fast, um, I think I was in a bit of a panic thinking, Mm. oh, my God, what say this doesn't work? And I know that all of you can know I'm on it. (laughs) I have no result. Oh, my God. So, yeah, I was freaking about the the weight because I only went down in the two weeks 1.5 kilos, which actually is quite good. But for me it wasn't because I wanted more. Mm. Um, And... The when I did at day six, I thought I have to do another measurement because I have to make sure this is working. And I had lost 13 and a half centimeters in that six days, so that gave me so much hope. I'm like, okay, something's happening, even though the weight's not changing much. Um, and so then I went for the next week, and then halfway through the next week, the, the last week, the scales had only gone down like another 500 grams, and, and so I had to do a little sneaky measurement again I didn't record it but just to make sure and it's like oh gosh I've dropped another couple of centimeters off everywhere okay well I'm fine then <laughs> so I'll just keep going and yeah by the end it was 24 centimeters and only one and a half kilos but 
I did the body scan beforehand, and I think you saw those results, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Did mm -hmm. the body scan beforehand, which measures the body composition, saw the fat, which was an awful lot, and a lot of it visceral, which is really dangerous, and um, the muscle, etc. And so then I did the second scan. I was really hoping for like, you've lost 25% fat, but no, it wasn't like that. But what I lost was- In 15 point... days, let's talk about this 15 days. <laughs> 15 it's, days. Not a, it's not a month, this is 15 days. Yeah. But out of the 1.5 kilos, 1 1.2 of it was fat. That's My right. muscle didn't change at all. So the rest was actually water. I was a little bit dehydrated. So That's, that's extraordinary. Amazing. Because at this age, for, for all of us that's sort of over 50, that's what we've got to be holding on to is our muscle mass. Yeah. Because most diets don't differentiate between muscle mass and fat and so you will lose muscle mass and then of course you stop doing it you put the weight back on because you've depleted your metabolism yeah i i am so ecstatic about that because you know you know i'm getting older and i don't want to become frail ever i want to always be strong and i want to be able to get up off the floor when i want to <laughs> and exercise so i am so ecstatic about the muscle and yeah that's i'm going to make sure that, that I, i'm going to keep using the certain ones of these products to make sure I maintain that muscle as I age. Oh, exceptionally important. Let's talk about, I want to talk about the scales for a minute because I think that's where for all of us, that's a, you know, that paradigm we have of if I eat less, I'll weigh less. If I, and so for many women I know, and I used to be like this, I used to jump on the scales every morning. Did you find that that was a difficult thing to kind of let go of that watching the scales every day absolutely yeah. absolutely and and that's why I think I freaked out a couple of times about was it not working because I was judging it according to the scales and so yeah. I was thinking this isn't working but I hadn't realized how different my body looked yeah you don't see it when you're, you're in it all the time <laughs> And, and and the thing is, you know, we all have this little bit of body dysmorphia that we don't see the change in ourselves. Yeah. It's only when you do those photos and you do the measurements, which are just gold, because, you know, yeah. we can see with you mm. um, that um, weight loss has come from your tummy area and the hips and the thighs, the difference mm. there, but your your boobs have stayed Pretty well the same. That's exactly the same. They're exactly the same. My boobs are exactly the same. And they're not big. So it's not like I've got really big ones I want to get rid of. I yeah. don't want to get rid of my boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Me either. Um, but also that's the other thing about dieting is we lo actually do lose weight from all over. So as we get older, a lot of women also get that drawn look because you're mm. losing the fat from mm. your face as you're mm. losing weight sometimes even if you're a lot overweight it's, you know women like that I, I didn't mind losing a bit off here that would yeah. that's nice and I has gone a little bit from here so that's good <laughs> that's so good that's so good so you we show the photo of or mentioned your jean size too has gone down well yeah I was comfortably in size 13 jeans and um then I went down to 12s really quickly like and then it was actually just because all the washing was out in the laundry. <laughs> and I thought, oh, where's my jeans? And I was like, oh, it's 11s here. Oh, well, give them a go. And they fitted so comfortably. So I'm back in my 11s. And I actually think I could go down a size again. So that surprised me because that, but that's my waist and my tummy um, going away and all the fat that goes around behind the hips, you know, all that. Um, I was able to breathe in my 11s. <laughs> That's phenomenal. I, I, and I think that's another really good thing. I mean, that, those are the best measurements to me. Most women, it's, it's not about the weight. It's about feeling good in your clothes again. It's about, yeah. you know, th that dress at the back of your closet that you're just hanging on to till you can yeah. fit into it again that we've all got. Yeah. Um, when, then that, when that happens, and I want to talk about, um, talking about that, but I want to talk a little bit more about how you feel in yourself emotionally um energetically have you noticed a difference um in the last few days i i have just been so calm all the way through it mm. which is fantastic um and that i do pilates four days a week and uh, but i always have not always but i have for a long time um and i found that i just feel stronger like i can i can just do more i can put more energy into it and i've sort of gone up a bit of a leap in regards to what I can do with that so that's been really interesting um yeah I, I just feel calm and 
I'm ecstatic about the results. Um, but yeah, I think the thing is, I can just keep saying is I feel calmer. I feel yeah. more centered. And like, uh, maybe it's because of now I've finally found something that works. It's taken away that really horrible feeling that I'm going to be fat for the rest of my life. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah, I, I really like that feeling. So you finished, oh. you finished taking the 15 day a um, couple of days ago? Yeah, on and- Monday. And if you, like, are you going up in size or? I know I've lost another. I did weigh myself 100 grams both days since then, so still going down a little bit. Um, I have kept the diet the same, and I'm not hungry, so I haven't been hungry at all. Um, still, which is really mm. amazing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are the things? What are the things that you actually did do? Um, because you would have probably learned a lot about yourself and your appetite. Because you, it's interesting, isn't it? When you're feeling calmer, you've got more time to think yeah. about choices. So, what what do you think that you learned about food choices for you over this period of time that you'll you'll keep on doing? I really learned about portion sizing. Yeah. That that was a big one, um, and I also learned about um, how good it felt to choose good food. And to not have the the wheat or the starchy stuff, and I like I had no I have a tiny tiny bit of sourdough a couple of times with my eggs, but don't choose cakes, don't choose the sugars, um, and that clears your head. You know, like your head yeah. feels clearer. Um, so I, you know, portion size and the actual type of food you're eating changes the way you feel and changes the way your body functions. So, um, so let me I ask really, you. A little bit more about that. Sorry to interrupt you, but when you said you just choose not to have the, the sugary foods, was that a physical choice, an emotional? Like you just didn't feel like having them, or you you actually? I, said- I don't feel like having them, but on the day that um, I finished, so Tuesday morning I had finished it, and I always go out for breakfast with my daughter, and we walked into the cafe, and there was all these muffins, amazing looking muffins that so they they make it you know hand make and. Normally I'd go, should we share one? You know, I'd say that. But I was like, well, I don't want that. <laughs> I just don't, I don't want to put weight back on and I know that that's not good for me and I know that I'll feel bad after it's um, physically and I also will feel bad emotionally if I ate that. So yeah. it's like, no, nah, just have our egg. <laughs> so, so let me ask you, so that choice was more like, it was more a choice, not a deprivation. It was a choice. Yeah. And I didn't I didn't mind it. I'm like, no, I don't want that. I really don't want that. That that's was so it, good. and that's just from two weeks. Yeah. And um I think that's the other thing about other diets that I've been on is that at the end of it, if it's finished and like if it's a certain amount of time, I just need to eat something like yummy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And and I I have like dark chocolate in my fridge because I used to always need dark chocolate after dinner, no matter what. But I haven't even wanted it, and it's still in the fridge, and it's still just up there, and I just ignore it. It's just I don't need, I don't want it, I don't need it. So there's certain things have definitely changed. Yeah. About and the craving thing that's definitely changed. I just haven't got the craving. It hasn't come back. It's only been two days since I stopped. Is it three days? Three days. But um, it hasn't come back, and that's I really wonderful. just want to eat what right. Yeah. So eat, eat a very small meal at night and. Happy. <laughs> Fantastic. So what happens now? What, what, what happens what's the now? Next step? Well, the next step is that 30-day program. Mm. I want those four products. In the two, in the 15-day pack, there's two of the products. I want the other two as well. I want the four. I want to give it a good go, all four of them. Slim S and My Triumph sound yes. so exciting. Um, muscle protection and lean muscle mass. And then also with the mood and the waist circumference and the sexual libido. And stuff like that. <laughs> We're all putting our hands up for that one. All our husbands are. <laughs> well, yeah. uh, I mean, you know, I, and I, you know, that's a big thing for 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 us going through menopause. That you know, hey. our sexual yeah. libido does naturally, you know, wax and wane for many, not all, but for many women. And so, mm. you know, that's another aspect of healthy aging. Absolutely, is, is that that part of it we should all be talking about because it that is an issue. And mm-hmm. so uh, the fact that that in the in the, um, the the one it's my triumph, isn't it? It's the one mm-hmm. that has the saffron in it, but it mm-hmm. also help deal with the PMS symptoms for those who struggle with premenstrual yeah. tension. And the thing about 
PMS, and even us um, as we're going through menopause, um, it, there's one week a month when we're all just, you're going to eat something sweet or you're going to, you know, <laughs> come after somebody, strangle somebody. I have definitely had that. My yeah. whole, you know, my whole adult life is that week of being absolutely ravenously hungry. Um, and so I'm looking forward to my triumph for all, all those reasons as well. Yeah. Yeah. So if you, so, so what do you think? Okay. So what, what were some of the things that were hard for you going on? To, was there anything hard for you? Um, I think the hard thing program. was figuring out um, the timing of things and the food to eat. I think, yeah. and I called on to you on you um, a lot because um, I think we need to do it and have that support around us. Any weight management, you need to be able to bounce ideas off. Yeah. And so I was struggling with the not getting enough protein in, and and yes. that you've really got to be mindful of the amount of protein you have. But I also feel like the timing of when you take it because the first two days I took my doses of tiami in the morning when I got up and then went Pilates and came home, had my shake and then waited until dinner time, took my other dose. But by night time, I just felt terrible. I felt sick and I was hungry. Like my stomach was hurting and I felt like I was going to throw up. And I think the timing of what I'm doing is not right. I obviously, I'm not even hungry in the morning. So why am I taking it in the morning? So I changed it to just before my lunch, which was about two and I took it the dose then and then I took the other dose um, before dinner and I slept like a baby. So for me, I had to change the doses around to suit my body. So if you are not a hungry person in the morning, then don't take it in the morning. Mm. Take it later in the day when you where it can really impact that hungry stage of your – but if you are a hungry person in the morning, you're going to have to really think about doing it then. So everyone has got to work this out for themselves. And that's why they say this is customizable because yeah. you can actually change it to suit your body. And so those two things, working out the timing of taking the products and making sure I had enough protein in my diet, that mm. was a big deal. And for many women, you know, in my experience, that's where they really fall down. They're still on that calorie in, calorie out mindset. Yeah. yeah. We need to be up in the protein. This is what's brilliant about this product because it, obviously, you know, the minute you up the protein, the results started to really happen. Absolutely. That's that's definite. And also I felt so much better. Yeah. So it was just what I needed. And so, you know, I've got the, the green shake here, my chocolatey one that I'm having for breakfast. Of, that should have been about half an hour ago, but, you know, we started talking, um, <laughs> <laughs> which is fine. Um, and that is a, such a satisfying shake. I, I never liked the green shake until you told me that I could put cacao powder in it. And then I add the yogurt and um, avocado and banana. And it is like a mousse. It's so, and it's so satisfying. It's just mm. like that hit of protein is just what my body needs and it craves it now. I need that hit of protein mm. in the mm. mornings and that just gets me going for the day. And then I must make sure that everything else I eat has a good amount of protein. So, you know, having cooked chicken in the fridge or boiled eggs in the fridge or having food prepared ready in the fridge is a really good idea. So that when you need a snack, it's just there. You can just grab I think a little that's, bit of this. Yeah, that's a really good point too. Is that you know this is these these are not magic pills. They are to support. And I love the way you said it gave you time to think about food. Yeah. It takes the edge off that I've got to eat. I've got to eat. What's in the mm. fridge? Like it gives you that. Okay, wait a minute. What am I going to eat? And I, I think for many women, that emotional or even that physiological, we, let's face it, everybody is so busy. You know, when you're having co things complicated, it's really difficult, but planning ahead, absolutely. You've got to be in the fridge. Yeah. Absolutely. And so I think being prepared is a really good idea. You don't have to have all your meals prepared, but just having, I think the snack food prepared yeah. is really important. So, you know, having some walnuts or almonds um, available, but only taking a few, like, not the handfuls or the half cupfuls, just like I have three walnuts and that just does it for me. That's enough. So, you know, making sure that you've got little bits and pieces and just think of it as a little, a little bit, it's a little bit, just to tide you over. Um, Would you have been yeah. able to do that before? Just had three no, walnuts? No, not at all. No. I, I was the, and, you know, a cupful of almond girl. <laughs> disappear before you even sit down that girl <laughs> where did they go i must have dropped them on the floor i'm gonna get some more <laughs> yeah <laughs> so that's gone like that you, you notice that that's gone that that wow that's gone i, I feel 
I keep saying, I feel so calm in my, in my stomach. I feel so calm in my head about food. And so I, I, know, I know now what works for me. Like in two weeks, I've learned what works for me and what doesn't. So I'm just like, okay, that's not hard. I can do that. Yeah, this is so good. And, and of course, the 30-day program, as you mentioned before, has got the Slim S in it, which is so good for build, maintaining that muscle mass, which is like gold. Mm. So we can only increase your results, not mm. on the scale. Yeah. You throw those away. Yeah. But your results in, in the way you feel. And more muscle mass we have, the more energy we have too. That's absolutely and, and yeah. protecting you as you age, the, the yeah, priorities. Absolutely. I think so, just one, one, one thing to mention about the My Edge, which is we, we all get that in the 15 day, it's a sachet that you make into a drink. And um, so I actually quite like it warm. So it's a bit like a herbal tea, but like slight, a slight sweet aftertaste. It's, it's actually quite nice. It's, it's okay. The first mouth I don't like, but by the end of the cup, glass full, I like it. Um, but the, Graham was telling me that in Taiwan, they just drink. They just have that throughout their whole meal. They just drink it so it satisfies them so they don't eat as much. So they make it into a big, and they just drink it. Just mm. And so I think that I might try that next time is to yeah. actually drink it more um, as my everyday drink. And so you probably would use more than than you're supposed to, but it's not going to do you any harm. Um, and it just helps with the appetite and the cravings. So, yeah, it's, it's interesting when you can play around with that one and to see. You, you might not like it, but just... Hold your nose and drink could, it. Could you, could you um, say mix it with a herb tea? Would I'm that sure work? you can. Yeah, because yeah. you can have that one with hot water or cold water. Mm. Yeah, well, that's interesting. And again, it's really it depends on your own taste, doesn't it? It's like it, it's it's adaption. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, it's nothing. There's no wrong and right. It's just how we. It's interesting yeah. because many Asians will drink tea, green tea, through through throughout their meal anyway. So they so, use this my edge in replacement yeah. of that. Yeah. Interesting. Paul, yeah. this has been absolutely phenomenal, and we're we're just all so excited for your success. Thank um, you. And your generous sharing of your time, um, because like there are so many of us who are skeptical about any new weight loss you know we're, mm. we're in that age now where we've seen it all before mm. so you know to have somebody who's gone through it been through it done the years of dieting been through menopause and and your low thyroid functioning too i think is another mm. thing for many women that's a big issue absolutely and and that was really a, just such a such a hard thing to to lose weight with because it just didn't move yeah it yeah. just did not go mm. <gasps> And so, hard. and especially when you were doing all the right things, like yeah. you were going to Pilates, you were, you know, you were, you were eating a fair diet. Yeah, yeah, always active. Yeah, yeah. So that's so good. Well, thank you so much for your time. This has been absolutely brilliant. We can't wait to get you. We're none of it. We're all so ecstatic. We're all going to try this um, when it, when it's launched in Australia on the eighteenth. But um, also now, then, where do we go from here with the thirty day? Because you know, this is a perfect time, especially in Australia. We're going yeah. to go straight into spring. <laughs> And we won't have the your normal weight, you know, yeah. that we've got to drop before the, um, you know, we'll start to wear our summer dresses again. So um, Absolutely. very exciting time. Yeah. Thanks, Pauline. Thank you so much for your time. And Pleasure. we look forward to following up with you in after 30 days. Absolutely. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks, Bye. Sally.